Ta-da, everyone. It's time for another Linux review. Today's victim's gonna be Tiny Core Linux. Welcome, my child. This right here is the website of Tiny Core Linux. You've got three versions. You want a GUI? Of course you want a GUI. You're gonna need Tiny Core 16 megabytes. Pfft, that's too much megabytes. Or how about Core Plus? That's way too many. I guess we'll just have to settle with Core with 11 heavy megabytes. Let's make this go by fast. It's done! Wow, that was fast. Why did we download that? Why did we download an 11 megabyte file, you ask? It's because I have really terrible internet, okay? Don't judge me. So let's just go ahead and do a virtual machine. Whoa! That was quick, dude! Tubular, look at this! Alright, let's get it started. Boot. Wow, that was quick. I mean, wow. All right, let's see what we got inside this system, all right? That's all you've got in it to run. Isn't that hot? That's nice, but that's still not a lot, right? This is like pretty much like a minimal Arch Linux thing, but even more minimal because it doesn't have half the drivers. So, there's a couple steps we need to do. First step, Make sure you have a hard drive. Check. That, for us, is dev slash SDA. But we need to make sure that we mount the CD. Now, kindly, thanks to these wonderful folks, you have already two directories created for you. One for the disk, SDA, and one for your CD, which is called SR0. Now, there's a couple things we need to do. First thing we need to do is we need to mount and I mean super user do mount. There we go. The CD is mounted. And this is important because this is where it gets all the boot stuff and basically how to install it from. All right, the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to use the built-in package manager, TCE. Now, this is a lot nicer than your apt gets and your Pac-Man S's, am I right? Let's search, baby. We need to search for an installation script called tc-install. There's two versions, one that's a GUI, one that's not. We're running the command line, so which one do you think we're gonna use? The GUI? You're wrong. This is our status on it. Yes, I think that this is quite sophisticated. All right, you hit the Q key so you can get to this little wonderful menu down here, and then we're just gonna go ahead and install it. That was pretty daggum quick, wasn't it? No, it wasn't. I had to speed it up. Oh, it's done. All right, Q. Clear your screen. It's a mess. Now that we've got that, all we need to do, super user, do the TC dash install. Huh? All right, we're gonna boot it from the CD-ROM, or well, we're gonna install it from the CD-ROM. See. Three versions, frugal, HDD, zip. Frugal is what you do when you put it onto a hard drive. That's what I'm going to do here. HDD is what you put on your pin drive, your flash drive, your USB stick thing that you plug in. Okay. It's basically similar to what I'm doing right now with the frugal. Or you could use the zip version. This is like more optimized and it has more like start you know, one place to store for boot compatibility, another one to hold the actual operating system. That's just kind of for like, you know, if you don't have like bio support for it or whatever, you know, but we're not doing that. So we're just doing frugal F. Now, let's think here. Do we want to use the whole disk or the partition? Let's do the whole disk. Would you like to install a bootloader? Do I want the system to boot? Or do I not want it to boot? Or do I want to install my own? No, I'll just do this. Okay, and see, this is doing the formatting for you. You don't have to have CF disk. 
or F disk or G disk. Which version of a file system do we want? X4. Yes. Let's do it. Oh, that was a fast installation. Look at that. You caught me in the middle of this. That's stupid. We're done. Now what do we do? Let's go ahead and reboot it without the CD. And three, and two, and one, and... All right, this is booting from the hard drive. Oh, it looks like it's doing it. <gasps> it works! Wow, I'm not an idiot after all. <laughs> okay, let's just go ahead and see how we edit a text file. Text. Hmm, we need to install Vim. So first we're gonna search for the package. And of course, uh, bring it up. What we're going to do is we're going to do an on-demand to demonstrate. That was not as long as doing the tc-install script, but you kind of understand that I have a very slow internet now. Thank you. All right, let's quit it. So now that we got that installed, let's go ahead and take a look at doing file persistence. So I'm gonna do a quick little text file. All right, we're gonna go ahead and just write, hi there. See what's in the directory. All right, now here's the core thing about this. If you were to just do a reboot, even though you have the file saved, the file will not be there. <gasps> Our file is not there. All right, let's try this again. This time with two files. Got two files, right? We need to run a script to save these files. Basically think of this as your actual save. Every save you make is to RAM, is to memory, but not to the disk. So every time there's a power outage or you gotta reboot it, you're gonna lose whatever data is there. So you want to run this file tool.sh script and use the dash B option to back up the files. It will back up everything in your home directory and in your opt TCE directory. Bam, there you go. And it even shows you, it saves it. That's how Tiny Core works. So let's go ahead and do one more thing. Let's just touch a file and we'll make that, am I right? Am I right? We got am I right, text one and text two. Let's reboot. Of course, as a super user, we do that. All right, we've got our system rebooted. It, am I right? Am I right is not there. So I guess I'm not right. But text one and text two are there. Oh, I know. It's because I didn't run the file tool script to back it up after doing am I right. I only did it after text one and text two. You gotta run file tool sh on files and folders. TCE load has options. The TCE has options, depending on install versus on boot, to run your stuff. Thanks for watching and Hattie Hacking. That better have worked. <laughs> I look funny.